Hi folks, this is the Chan Clan Life and this is Tech Talk. We are reviewing the Maytronics Dolphin Skimmy robotic skimmer that was just released this year. Dolphin Skimmy is a smart robot that is powered by solar that allows you to clean and skim your pool effortlessly, continuously in an automated fashion. This solar powered robot will use AI and also sensors to travel around the pool, skimming the surface, removing debris, floating things, relieving you of the duty of doing it yourself with a skimmer. This device operates by using two side paddles for navigation as well as a central paddle to push debris into a catchment area built into the back of the device. Catchment area is basically a screen basket that allows debris to catch and water to full freely and can be removed simply by removing the back tray, emptying this and washing it out on a periodic basis. So we'll notice that the skimmy's design is pretty simple. It uses two little paddle wheels to uh, move around the pool and in the front there is another one that takes in the water and is part of the skimming apparatus. Over here there's four sensors that recognize underwater and above water obstacles allowing it to smartly navigate around uh, for example hoses or other floaties or devices in the pool. Uh, the top surface of the skimmy is a waterproof solar panel. So this allows it to charge and it does feature Bluetooth compatibility where it syncs up with the Dolphin Skimmy app, which is not required to operate it as it is automated. Okay, after running for a week, let's take a look at what the Skimmy picked up. Uh, nice, easy to lift handle in the middle here. We'll put it on some dry ground and we can just pull out the skimming tray here and take a look at that. This is what you get when you build the pool right next to the grass. And we have a lot of grass trimming that ends up flying into the pool and a lot of uh, vegetation right next to our pool, which is beautiful, but leaves, debris gets blown very easily right into our pool. And the skimmy was able to pick up a lot of this. So um, there is a little trap here that prevents this stuff from kind of getting into the propeller. And uh, since the propeller flows this way, it kind of gets uh, pushed back towards this mesh net here so you can see how much stuff is built up. So simply kind of go and dump this out. Uh, usually I kind of compost this in our nice little area here. Put the vegetation back out into there. And we can even run the shower here wash it out a little bit. We've cleaned out the screen. One thing about the screen that I've noticed is that this could be a potential weak point in the design where this could over time break through. Um, now, because this is built into this whole section, if this screen breaks, it does uh, seem like this whole unit here would have to be replaced. Uh, the concern there would be obviously if the screen broke and it's skimming and it comes right out the other end, well then the whole unit uh, will not work. But until that happens, we'll see how durable this is over time. Um, this so far is working very well to pick up uh, debris. So we'll load it back in here and the skimmy does detect once that's in uh, to power it back on as there's an auto shut off. The Dolphin Skimmy operates quietly and by default can be set on intervals to operate for certain times both day and night with AI features including navigation that allows it to navigate around obstructions such as hoses as well as walls. The Skimmy path finds randomly although there is a leaf detection mode that allows it to look for larger objects. So the Skimmy works simply by paddling around and while it doesn't have any smart direction. It can have a couple modes. One that hunts for leaves. I, I think the detectors look for leaves while the other obstacle detection is obviously to hoses, to walls. So as it approaches, for example, a wall here, it will slow down, either turn around or back up. And it kind of butts into the wall a little bit here before realizing it needs to turn around as it back pedals out a little bit here. First, I think it tries to ram the wall a little bit to see if it can move with the obstacle. And if it can't, then it will start turning. And there it goes. 
And because it floats pretty much to the surface, I think it's probably going to be able to get over that hose. And if it doesn't, there it goes powering through. If it doesn't, then it'll back up. So it does use kind of a pseudo random pattern here. It just misses that leaf. But as it goes zigzagging around, you'll see some of that surface debris here that it will be able to manage to pick up. Getting some of these things, these floaties, right in its path. And because we do have plenty of sun here, it does spend most of the day recharging. This has been running for a week without having to recharge separately. And the battery status is still full. That being said, this does not seem to have a individual charging port. So for those of you guys that might be in a more cloudy area, we're thinking like Seattle, Pacific Northwest, and you're not getting enough solar, well, then potentially this could run into some battery issues. That being said, it's hard to know how much this actually needs to be operational versus how much of the skimmy can actually work with a very low charge. So. The solar recharge is definitely a pro to this as otherwise the system is a sealed system and does not require any plugging in um, or swapping of batteries. But assuming that does have a lithium ion battery, at some point that lifespan will be a limiting factor on how long the skimmy can last in operation. It's pretty quiet, has a soothing water trickling operational sound and even if you're swimming with this in the pool it shouldn't be uh, too obstructive it's decided to come pay us a visit here and you can see since we've emptied its tray it's already picked some stuff up and it's working on turning itself around a little bit here to go grab some more. So let's dive into the Skimmy app. You can see that the interface is very simple. You can start clean, manual drive, and also adjust settings. Starting cleaning just manually enables the Skimmy to be turned on and off, while manual drive allows you to have forward and backward and right and left motions as you operate this in a remote control fashion. In the settings, there are device settings, app settings, guide support, and device settings. You can change the speed of the skimmy as well as set the day cleaning routine. Currently, it's set to clean for 20 minutes every hour and then 10 minutes every hour at nighttime. Settings also include speed settings, water edge cleaning, water clarity. I presume this is to help with sensors, night light settings, smart detect settings to search for leaves or avoid hoses and cable, pool settings, and even alert sounds. Built-in guide allows you to reference the manual. Information, including water temperature, is available in the main screen, as well as the current solar charging. One cool thing about the Skimmy is it detects sunlight and will navigate into sunny areas, allowing it to be run optimally in the sun. So check out that crystal clear surface that the Dolphin Skimmy has been able to achieve skimming constantly throughout the day without any floaties and that saves us all that hand skimming before using the pool overall the skimmy performs exceptionally well as a skimmer, although for a all-inclusive pool cleaner, you would need to look elsewhere. Positive features and pros include the rechargeable deck that allows it to operate without needing to be recharged. Its simple and elegant design is effective in capturing surface debris. Its simple to use application allows it easy connectivity and even manual remote control operation. Potential downsides of the unit include it only acting as a surface cleaning robot. Its inability to recharge or replace the battery manually poses a limit on its lifetime use, and a potential issue with the screen breaking with wear and tear could require a larger replacement of the basket itself for continued function.
Nevertheless, despite these limitations, the Skimmy has been performing above my expectations, and I would highly recommend the Dolphin Skimmy for anybody using an in-pool cleaner who also needs surface cleaning. Thanks for watching our review and demonstration of the Dolphin Skimmy. We would like to thank Matronics for providing us a review unit but have sought to provide you with an objective and honest review. Please leave your comments and questions in the comments below. And thanks for watching the Chan Clan Life. Please feel free to subscribe to all our Tech Talk videos, and we'll see you next time.